course. Neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. Both computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the law. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Hopefully it's all just fine. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Ponzi's. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Dix, down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it Almost. Okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. No. Come here, baby. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you shot! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh... Big heads never liked taking orders from that again. dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. Whenever but they ready. needed me. And I made sure they knew it. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long.
Kellogg. <laughs> it's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown should, off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Hope you plan on using your robot powers for good. Uh, am I okay? Are you seeing anything... anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory, but your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, 
You'll have to do the same, if you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? Well, you are wearing a suit of power armor. I've heard they were designed with nuclear warfare in mind. It seems like exactly what you need. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Amari. Be careful of the radiation. The glowing sea isn't a place to be caught unprepared. Dr. Amari? You have to find Virgil. A renegade institute scientist could finally give us the insights we need. Memory Den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself in good neighbor? It's a... Heck of a town, ain't it? You like the decor? My business partner hates it. So she's not the fun type. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already.
We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me. But that suit of power armor you've got on might be the guardian angel you're looking for. That, or you could buy up all the Radex and Radaway you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Piper. Heading my way? Let's trade. This is what I've got. Blue, come Anything on. I can lug for you? I think something. we ought to Will talk. You yourself? What's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world, with such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical. Not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey. Maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap. A body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. Something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. 
Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. I do what's needed. Well, you certainly seem to judge doing good pretty high on your list of necessities. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Hey. I'm listening. Hey. What's the plan? Hey, Valentine. Something to get off your chest? Your thoughts? We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Your thoughts? I got your back. Your thoughts? Every scumbag in the Commonwealth gonna know our names. Your thoughts? Sorry. You say something? You get flashes from old Nick's life every now and then. I sure spent a lot of time in sandwich joints. Your thoughts? You got a real do-gooder streak. And that's rarer than it ought to be. Your thoughts? You'd be shocked how many folks I've managed to convince I'm just a really sick ghoul. <laughs> Your thoughts? Always another case to close. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. Seen this place make monsters out of men. Your thoughts? There's a lot of people out. Oh? Your thoughts? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Your thoughts? I didn't know what to think when we first signed up together. Color me impressed. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. Your thoughts? Should we get a move on? Your thoughts? There's not a lot of folks you can count on out here. Guess that makes you the exception. Your thoughts? Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that got us. Your thoughts? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Your thoughts? Who do you think actually won the war? Nobody, I get. Your thoughts? It's good to see there's someone out here who's not willing to let the Commonwealth get its claws in them. Yeah. Your thoughts? There's a lot of people out here. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? Too many folks these days. What? Your thoughts? You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. You're trying to make a difference out here. That puts you in the good column in my book. Oh, nothing. Got it. Hey. Go ahead. Wait there. I'll stay put. Come on. Done and done. Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point.
The memory tin's great. Just don't get hooked by old kids. Past the rest. Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rex. Look, I don't like to play. I'm a lover and a fighter. I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living. Let's see what you have. Murder and mayhem. I can lug for you. Hey. See what I can do. Take a look. Got a weapon here for every situation. Not right now. Disappoint? Right.
one way to get that coolant pumping. Now stay put. there.
Wait there.
Hey. I'm all ears. Over here. Count on it. Hey, Valentine. Do something for you? Your thoughts? Didn't know what to think when we first signed up together. Color me impressed. No, oh, nothing. Sure, sure. Hey. What? The plan. 